Lots of people were stunned, were they not, when Meghan Markle decided she wasn't Maltese anymore. Well, apparently not, you know, even though she'd gone there um, and enjoyed the hospitality of that wonderful country. Remember, she looked like the Black Widow in that ad, you remember, with the thing going around. Nobody truly knew what that was about. And then she rediscovered the fact that apparently she's 43% Nigerian, managed to get a whole trip over to Nigeria based on that. And as I've told you before, they've yet to actually see any real evidence of this, you know? She's never presented them, the First Lady or whoever, with the fact that this is how she found it out. Apparently, according to sources, even Prince Harry only has her word, as ever we have to say allegedly. But I'm sure Meghan could find this in a printout somewhere in that Montecito mansion. But now she's got another big problem, and it's one that keeps coming back to haunt her and it's in the form of a very close family member. Let me explain. How lovely to see you today. Thank you so much as ever for taking the time out to join me. Welcome one and all brand new subscribers. And as ever, thank you for taking the time to press that subscribe button. As I often say, now you've joined, there's no escape. No, you can't get away. <laughs> but look, thousands have now been locked in for years. They've tried to escape. I've tried to shake them off, but they're still here. You see, that's it. we're all in it together now, aren't we? You're all thinking to yourself, oh, don't worry. I'll get shot of him. I'll root you down. Absolutely. You like flowers. I like, we're bonding. We're already there. Somebody who's not bonded, of course, as he reaches his 80th birthday, is none other than Thomas Markle. Cut adrift from his daughter that allegedly he did so much for, private education, all sorts of stuff like that. And you come away thinking, how on earth could somebody treat somebody like that? Well, they did. But moving forward, what I find fascinated about this is Thomas Markle himself has been absolutely, well, bemused by the fact that Meghan suddenly decided she's 43% Nigerian. You see, the Markle name does have ancestry in Germanic sides, a little bit like Prince Harry. Let's not forget, his relatives are mainly German, so they're possibly closer bonding than we first realised. But now it gets even more exciting because according to a very well-placed source, Mr. Markle and his family are very keen to look into their own ancestry to see exactly where the Nigerian aspect of this comes in. Now, one might suspect, of course, that this is not very kind, not very sweet. I totally disagree. As a man reaches a certain milestone, a particular birthday like the 80th, you start to look, don't you, and think, where did I come from, who am I, and what am I? As he pointed out in a recent interview, he's always believed that Meghan was 100% Californian. So for him, this will be a revelation too. As for Meghan, she's hoping that this won't go too far forward because she has her own plans for Nigeria. The alleged documentary, there's apparently going to be a book. And as she pointed out in that exclusive chat alongside another lady, she realized that she was Nigerian because they're brave, strong, intellectual and beautiful. Nothing like being bashful, eh, Megan? But of course, for her, this is a brand new selling point. And what she doesn't really need, or in fact require, is someone, shall we say, putting oil on water. But apparently Thomas Markle, or indeed the Markle family, allegedly are very keen now to look into their own history. Will it coincide with Megan's new dream of 43% Nigerian? Or could it be something totally different? Will we find out that in fact she's possibly 28% Japanese? Or indeed, could she even be fact British? Yes, how frightening might that be? New Sean in the very heart of Brighton.